okay so in this video I'm gonna show you how this a signature works so Globiflow provides us a facility that we can connect right signature account with Globiflow <coughs> so easily so I am going to just show you a example how this works so suppose we have an app and where we are saving the email field so either you can make this field static in the flow or uh, dynamic so in our case I have made it dynamic so whatever you will fill here so it will send the document to this email ID <coughs> so before that the flow checks for the very recent document that you have created and it will send the document for the a signature okay so for this uh, item we have not created any document yet so we do have a button that creates the document create contract here so if we'll click on this button so it will create our pdf file okay so it has created here you can see now we have another button send contract so this is the button that actually does it sends the newly created pdf to that email id for e-signature okay so if we click on it we have set in the flow that if it sends the pdf to the correct user then it shows the message like this contract has been sent for each signature and if I check my mailbox so I have received a mail <coughs> here it is uh, one more thing right signature has introduced here the concept of tags so let me explain you how what actually it is So this is the document that we have sent through Podio. In the Podio it looks like this. Okay. And here when we are about to sign it, it is indicating here that we have to scroll down. okay so here it says it says please sign here so if you click on this button so either you can sign here or you can type your name this is the first approach and second you can type your name so this is your signature suppose this is my signature and I have applied we have made this portion and now we are submitting the signature so in the global flow also we have again uh, set a flow that whenever the user signs the document so it uh, you know sends a message like this contract has just signed and if you we'll refresh this page so it will show you the signed PDF this is go to the bottom so here you have signed the document so this is how it works yeah I was about to show you I was about to tell you the concept of tags so you must have noticed that while we were signing this document so it it was showing us to scroll down and there was a specific portion where we need to sign so that all because of the tag portion when we initially created the document so it was like this but at the bottom you might have noticed 
that this code you must be thinking that what this code is all about so write signature parses this code and convert it into the signature type field here s indicates signature a means the first party is going to sign or b means the second party is going to sign and r indicates the required field means the total is this is going to be a signature field which a party will sign and it's a required field you need to sign the document in order to send it back to the podio so that's why if <coughs> you will try to skip that signature portion that will not that will not allow you so this is how um, right signature works thank you